Hey guys, it's me, Women Papa, and I'm gonna show you how to get your deals under control with the three commas bot. What am I talking about? We all know what I'm talking about. We have those deals that don't work out the way we hope it does. Like, we just have these crazy gains and there's no way of stopping it. There are a couple things you can do, and I'm gonna show you the little tricks that I do to ring, ring in that that loss and turn it into profit. So I can see all of my active bots here, um, but I wanna to go to my deals instead. So in my deals, it's going to show me everything that I have open. So right now I have four active deals open and you can see down here my bottom bot, the BCN BTC is actually a short bot because I bought it originally to long and then I opened up a short. I bought it at 26, hoping to sell it with the bot at 25, but now it's gone awry. Now it's going up, which is actually a really good problem. I can look at the chart here for BCN and see what's happening, and we just see a spike in volume. Yeah, so that is fantastic right there for me, because I'm going along on it anyway, but for my bot, I mean, that's terrible. That's suffering right there. So what do I do? Well, I have a couple of options. I could cancel this because I've been using this bot to accrue more BCN. So I could cancel the bot and then I could make a smart trade and I could sell my profits, which is actually good. I don't have to look at this as a negative because I was shorting to make more BCN. And I made lots of really good trades as it went down. And now that it's gone back up, I can sell at a profit. Well, there's nothing wrong there. I could buy at market price, which is basically panic selling. Um, but in this case, I don't want to because of the nature of this bot that I had. Or there's this nicely colored switch button. And what this does is, no surprise by the name of this, it switches my bot from a short to a long or vice versa from a long to a short. This is awesome. This switch button is fantastic and it will save your Bot and your butt by clicking it. And what it does is it takes the existing open deal and instead of having that take profit way down there, I can switch it and wait for it to do the opposite thing with the same settings. It's pretty cool. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to switch this and it's going to open up a bot and it's letting us know that they're still under development analyzing different strategies. So proceed at your own risk but it works. So I'm going to choose to make a long bot and I want to profit in the base currency and it's all the same settings that I had set up before except now it's long. So I changed this to base currency and then all I have to do is make sure that I want it to open up a true new trade ASAP and I create the bot. That's it. Depending on the type of setting that you designated for your bot, whether you're taking profit in your quote currency, BTC, ETH, USDT, BNB, or in the base currency, the coin itself, you can also increase the amount of safety trades right here by clicking on this blue number, and I could extend this to 5, 10, 11, whatever. But I'm not going to because I know that this is as much as I have available to myself, so I'm leaving it at 3. But you can make it more conservative at first, and then you can increase it as it goes, like I've done here. So those are the three options that you see on the deals page. But what about if you just had no idea that the bots were going awry? Well, shame on you. You should know already that you can set up notifications for Telegram. You can actually set up a notification bot on Telegram, and it'll give you updates as your bots are taking on safety orders, taking profit, various errors about insufficient funds or whatever. It's going to let you know the status of your trades. You want to set that up. And the way to set that up is you go into your settings. And in settings, there will be all these options for notification types. And you want to activate the Telegram bot here. And here on this last column, you can tell the Telegram bot what do you want it to notify you about. So you can see here the notifications at the bottom are particular to bot creation and bot monitoring. So as you're going throughout your day, you're gonna get these little beeps from Telegram and you can just check on the progress of your bots. So that's another way that I keep my bots under control. 
The main takeaway that I want you to have from watching this video is that you can set up the bots in as many as you want, but you can't just leave it alone. Yes, they are very intelligent, and yes, they'll trade for you while you sleep and while you work and while you hang out with your family, but you do need to check up on them periodically, specifically the charts that you've set up. So there are different ideas and different methods for finding charts and setting up bots, setting up short bots, composite short bots, long bots, like all this stuff. Make sure that you're choosing something that is manageable to you first, something that you can check on on a daily basis because I want you to have profits. I want you to stay in the green. So the only way you can do that is by being responsible and not setting it and forgetting it, okay? It's not a crock pot. The bots are not a crock pot. You need to check up on how things are going. Don't just set it and forget it. Make sure that you check the progress and the status and get pumped up when you see those profits just coming in. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you stay awesome and you stay in the green. Peace.